Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40 Poco F3 also known as Mi 11X in India. Now when this particular device launched, the software issues were just too much and a lot of people said that considering the software issues, this particular device is not worth it. But what people do tend to forget is that software is software and it can be fixed because this device does have excellent hardware minus the camera i don't think the camera is great on this device anyways we have a great display and a beautiful chip in there the snapdragon 870 and let's talk about the latest stable update of miui 12.5.18 which has come in the form of a custom rom which is xiaomi.eu stable but before we get into the wonderful details of this rom if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates us to make exciting content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people or you want to get latest updates about this channel, join us on Instagram, Telegram, Facebook, Twitter. We are there and a lot of people are there. We have a huge community who is helping each other. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work and the daily uploads are worth the effort, please consider clicking the join button to get premium access to our exclusive content. So without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Currently installed MIUI 12.5 version 12.5.18. This is a stable update. So if you click what's new over here, now remember this is Xiaomi.eu. It just says general optimizations, fixes, and latest translation updates. Now that is a typical Xiaomi.eu or a typical Xiaomi update in which they don't introduce any new features. And remember, this is the enhanced edition update that we are talking about the same enhanced edition which made this phone much more bearable, much more usable, much more smooth, right? So if you'll ask me, are there any new features? None at all. Probably there is a feature or two which has been removed, but why does this particular update deserve a dedicated video? The reason I'm saying that the first and the most important point is smoothness. Now, just look at this. This is not a custom ROM. I mean, it is a custom ROM, but it is Xiaomi.eu. So the basic stable update of 12.5.18 should be equally smoother, if not more. So look at the app icon animations. They're just beautiful, smooth app icon animations and they work really, really well. Even if you talk about the multitasking over here, just have a look how quick and seamless it is. Even if you go ahead and open a lot of applications, for example, you open gallery, you open weather, you open the music player and then you open the calendar file manager let's let's also open a few third party applications like antutu let's give the browser a try let's give chrome a try uh, i'm just showing something to you right so let's see over here we have sufficient amount of applications right so let's talk about multitasking now right one two three there you go now don't think that there is lag because most of these apps we had left them in a loading state so once you load them they would load just fine just have a look over here there you go right so the apps are really really smooth they open really really well even the ram management is beautiful now to the left of course you have your app vault you can actually go to settings over here that's the launcher settings real quick. So you do have the new updated MIA 13 style launcher over here. So if you go to Google Discover, you will see that you get Google Discover immediately. And the moment it's there, once you update it, it's butter smooth. Yes, we are running in 120 Hertz mode, but enhanced edition on the Mi 11X has been doing a wonderful job. So let's go ahead and get rid of our notifications over here. Just have a look how smooth this particular update is even when it comes to the quick tiles or the quick tiles drawer and stuff like that. The app drawer is pretty smooth and you do get a ton of customization options. For example, this new animation looks really, really great as you can see over here. Now, this is the wallpaper and style section. Even this is, is fluid, much more fluid than what it was earlier. Even if you go ahead and apply, say, a different home screen wallpaper like this one lock the screen just see how smooth the transition is even of this super wallpaper and it works really really cohesively really really well also the ram management as i said is really really great so the ram management smoothness are two aspects that we've spoken about now let's go to security over here 
right once you go to security and go to about you will see that this is the latest security version which is 5.6.0 and if you open any application that supports game turbo or you've added game turbo to that particular application you will notice it now comes with the game turbo 4.0 which gives you access to the performance mode and the numbers have been doing a really, really good job as far as the gaming is concerned as well. So that is a surprise which we will talk about towards the end of the video. Now let's go to settings over here. So if you go to my device and you go to all specifications, you will see that the security update is still of October 2021. This still comes with Android version 11, as you can see, and this is 12.5.18. It does come with the default perf kernel for obvious reasons. This is based on stock MIUI. What do you expect? Now the security status over here says that everything has been updated and moving on, you have your usual stuff of MIUI, which is always present in all the options. Now over here, instead of super wallpaper, it says library, but it still gives you access to all the super walls, wallpapers that are there to play with. You have ringtones, notifications, alarms, and all the other features that are available as well. Now, if you go to display over here, you will notice that we have the 120 hertz mode. You have the AI image engine and all these options which were missing from the latest uh, Android 12 based MIUI because they've removed a lot of features. Probably they are rebaking them and later they will reintroduce them. So the fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine. The app locker works absolutely fine. As you can see over here, you have the new UI. So as I said, all the MIUI based features on this MIUI version are working absolutely fine. If you are someone who has an unlocked bootloader and is keen on trying custom ROMs and you want to stay on a stable ROM for some time, don't go to MIUI stable, just flash a custom recovery, install this particular update, you will really love the look and feel. Now if you go to special features, you have game turbo, you have video toolbox, you have floating windows, then you have second space, MIUI lab with AI preloading, and then you have the light mode, which looks a little different. So, you know, step by step, Xiaomi is adding features and at least for the Snapdragon 870 powered Mi 11X, it, they are doing a great job of making this ROM smooth. Even if we talk about the battery life, the battery life on this ROM has been excellent. It's not, you know, something which is out of the world, but it's what you would expect from a flagship phone. I was, you know, sleeping for nine hours and I didn't lose a single person battery. Now that is with Wi-Fi on, with mobile data on, Bluetooth on, but not connected. So if you look over here, we've had one hour and 51 minutes of screen usage. The phone has been idle for such a long time, 15 hours and six, almost 16 hours, we still have 70% battery. The 33 watt fast charging is working excellent. Now let's talk about the benchmark numbers. And be because this is Xiaomi.eu, well, safety net will pass by default. Wideven L1 will work just fine. So Amazon Prime videos in HD and stuff should not be a problem. So all in all, this is a ROM which is absolutely perfect to be used as a daily driver. As you can see over here, CPU throttled to 94% of its max performance and the average score was 256 785 GIPS. So that's excellent scores, one of the highest scores that I've seen on any ROMs, period, right? Now let's talk about Geekbench real quick. Now these tests were done with Game Turbo enabled, so keep that in mind. 993 single core, 3360 multi core, and if we talk about Antutu benchmark over here, 680,514, a little low, but all in all, Xiaomi.eu 12.5.18 is a perfect go-to ROM for you. It works absolutely flawless. The charging is good. The battery life is fine. You can use your banking application. Gaming is doing great as well. You can probably root this and install a 90 Hertz, you know, unlocker module and you should be still doing great. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this update? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.